So if you watched my last vlog, yes, this is the day after the Jonas Brothers concert. Um, I haven't taken my makeup off yet because I'm going to be working outside, so I figured I'll just wash it off after. But today I'm going to show you guys how I do my, how I make wood rounds. The, so the wood round door sign hangers that you see mostly during like the fall and Christmas season, fall and winter season. Um, I get my wood boards from Amazon for the most part for the holidays because they're just thinner which obviously makes them cheaper and since they're temporary that's just kind of what people tend to go for because they're temporary but my actual thick wood rounds i get from home depot from home depot or lowe's depending which one has it this is just how i do it the stuff that i use everything i've gotten from amazon just because it, it's easier for me to order it online and receive it like within the next day or a couple days. All right, so right now what I'm doing is sanding them. I use, everything will be linked in the description below. This is the sandpaper that I use. It's the 3M aluminum oxide. Again, I'll have it linked below because I don't have the exact names at the top of my head right now. But it's just sanding paper. I think it was like $3 for the pack. And then I have this sanding paper but this one is a 220. So I use this first, and then I use this to smooth it out. Then these are the three 14 inch wood rounds, and here's the 18 inch wood round. I do want to mention that it is best to sand in the direction of the wood grains, which is normally straight across because I made the mistake of sanding in a circular motion once and you could definitely see like the little circles of when I was sanding in a circular motion. So just sand across kind of like how I was doing so that you go in the same direction as the grains. This is the stain that I'll be using for the big 18 inch Christmas sign. This is the Verathane wood stain in dark walnut. So this is what it looks like. It's also really good to stain both sides. This way you can see the imperfections on each side and decide which side you would rather go with, which one looks more perfect to you. I think I'll be going with, um, I think this side. The stencil I made using my Cricut, and it does say Mary, but I painted it black so you can't actually tell. But this is the paint that I use. I use chalk paint with a Dollar Tree sponge. And my hot glue to glue on the leaves. My Cricut kneading tool for the stencil and my squishy that I also got from the Dollar Tree.
Okay, so it's a very exciting day. Um, I'm at my 21 week OB appointment. Uh, we're gonna see how everything's going, halfway there. But very exciting day because today is move-in day. So at 3.30 I have the official walkthrough, which is when we're gonna walk through the house, um, take note of any damages that are already there. So that way when our lease is over and we decide to leave, it won't be a problem with like the deposit because if for whatever reason they notice something and they're like, oh, that wasn't there before. If I have videos or it's notated or I have pictures that it was there, then there's no reason for them to not give us a deposit. So yeah, that's the official walkthrough that we have and then they'll be giving me the keys and I'll be moving in. So I'm probably gonna be moving in between today and tomorrow. I think by Wednesday, I should be fully moved in and staying at my new place. Because I think tonight I'll be staying at my mom's. Tomorrow night, depending on if everything is just done and moved in, then I'll be staying there starting tomorrow night. All right, so it's been about two days now since that last clip. After my appointment, I had to rush home because we had to pick up my brother so that my mom could come with me to do the walkthrough. Uh, I wanted her to come with me because she knows a little bit more about that kind of stuff so she would have known what to look at whereas I wouldn't have and I didn't so thank god I brought her with me but basically at my appointment um, everything's fine I am having back pain already so my doctor did recommend um, a belly band and then also uh, when I kneel down my left knee it feels almost as if i'm kneeling on a bruise so i get up immediately because it hurts so much but then when i check it i don't have a bruise or anything so it's it's really weird but she did recommend a compression sock and right after that i started i went back home and i started packing everything well everything was pretty much packed but it was pretty much just loading it onto the car Late, i had my friends that were able to help me out so i made the move a lot faster it ended up being one trip on monday rather than like two to three which is what we were probably going to do if it was just me my sister and my brother it wasn't literally going to be an empty house tour because i had to like move my stuff in pretty quickly not that i had to but i really wanted to i was really excited so you're going to see a lot of boxes and a lot of stuff that i have to unpack and put in place which is kind of what i was trying to do right now when you come in this is the entrance just a door right now i have the car seat's here because I'm waiting for Juan to come down so we can put that one in the car. Then this is going to go somewhere in the garage until I need it. Her show is going to stay there because I think we're going to be using it almost every day. Um, then right here I have Mia's food and water station. And as soon as you walk in, you see the upstairs, which I'll show you guys later on. And then here is a little passageway that leads into the kitchen and into the living room. Here we have the kitchen. Excuse the mess. Still trying to organize everything. But we have the fridge. Then we have this door that leads into the garage. The pantry. Stove. All that fun kitchen stuff. These plates are clean. I just haven't put them away yet. Here we have the half bath. <laughs> Allie's toddler seat will be linked down below. She absolutely loves 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 sitting on that so that has been a better option for us for potty training than the actual toilet so i'll link it down below for you guys it was really cheap it was like 11 and change here's my kitty and then we have our bar area which right now has a bunch of stuff on it Allie's little table she can hear breakfast that's where our couch is gonna go, but obviously right now we don't have a couch, so we're just using Allie's pack and play <laughs> mat for that since she doesn't use the pack and play right now anyways. Over here, 
We have another little closet. Here is where Allie's play area is gonna be. That's where all her toys are right now. Her pack and play, which honestly, she doesn't use anymore. I only use that for her nap time, but she has her own room now, so I don't really need it. But I'm probably gonna use it for our second baby, which is why I have it down here. It'll most likely be used down here more than upstairs. Hey, Munchkin. And then here's gonna go our console table with our TV. Here we have the backyard, which I will show you guys in a little bit. Because if I go outside now, Allie will never come back inside. And she's not ready yet to go outside. She's in a diaper and a very thin shirt and it's kind of chilly outside. Here's the upstairs area. That is a bag of pee diapers that I have to throw out. But we just have the laundry room. Some of these walls that are colored are gonna be painted because I'm not a fan of them. If they're gonna be painted, I think probably everything's gonna be white. We'll see. And then I have a pillow. Eventually it will be replaced with an actual bed. Our laundry room. <laughs> Nothing special, just has the washer dryer and some racks. And then to my right is Allie's room. That's where her bed is gonna go. For now we have this inflatable so that she can take her naps in here and start getting used to sleeping in her own room. Her teepee, I don't know if you guys remember what her nursery looked like, but she has a teepee that I'm planning on putting there. I'm thinking of either putting the crib or the dresser here. And then I don't know what's going here yet. Then right here we have the closet. Again, not organized right now because Juan has everything for her room. So I just have these that I got off five below, I'll link it below. That has to go up in the attic. Um, these, I don't know where they're gonna go yet. That will, we'll probably install the car seat now just so it's out of the way also. And then she has her shoes there. So yeah, that's the closet. She does also have her own bathroom, which I love. That way I know it's like not like dirty or anything. I have to constantly like clean it. It's gonna be ocean themed. This wall color is actually a really pretty color, but because she already had, because it's gonna be ocean themed, she already has like a lot of blues. Like as you can see, this is more of like a turquoise color, but she has blue towels. So I think I'm just gonna paint it white so it looks better. But here she has her toilet seat that she likes sitting in, but I haven't got, been able to get her to actually pee in it. She just likes to be able to sit in it, which is why the other toilet seat is a lot better in my opinion. Um, then she has her tub. She has a few toys there, a little loofah, some washable paint that I just haven't gotten to washing yet. And yeah, that is her room. From her room, she has a view of the front, pretty much of the neighborhood. And then we have my room. This is just where the AC unit is, so I'm not even gonna show you guys that. This is my room. Again, none of the clothes has really been organized, especially in here because I have absolutely nowhere to put it. But I'm planning on having my vanity either on that wall or that wall. Again, this whole room is gonna be painted white, but yeah, so that's gonna go there. The bed is gonna be moved over that way. Here, oh my God, I almost fell, is where we're gonna put a dresser and our TV. So from my room, I have a view of our backyard. Our closet, which has like our hamper, my shoes. I do need to get some shoe racks. So I can put my shoes on there because I have a lot more coming down with one. Then we have this where I'm putting my purses. But honestly, that's meant more for like belts, I think. 
So I think I'm gonna get one of those accordion rock. Okay. I think I'm gonna get one of those um, accordion uh, racks or accordion holders. I think that's what they're called. Probably gonna put this next to my vanity on whichever other wall from the vanity. Um, and then put the accordion somewhere on this wall so I can hang my purses. And then we have the bathroom. So we have the same exact tub as Allie. I want to get one of those little pole caddies so I can put my hair stuff because I have a lot of hair stuff coming down as well. A couple of Allie's toys because we normally shower together in the morning. At night she just showered her own bathroom. We have the vanity. So, nothing really special. This thing is awesome. It's a makeup brush cleaner and I got it from the dollar store. It was literally a dollar. I know someone got a strawberry before and they also had a pineapple when I went, but I just liked this one more. I felt like it was like smaller for my sink, so I went with that one. Haven't used it yet, but it looks super cute and I know it worked for the other girl, so I'm expecting it to work for me. Hopefully it does. These are gonna go on my vanity. I'm gonna paint them white because I'm not a fan of how they came out, but they'll go on my vanity. Ellie has a toothpaste and a toothbrush in here for when she does shower with us in the morning, it's a lot easier. And then I have my, these are kind of my go-to skincare, and then just some perfumes. And then I have my bio oil, which I'm using on my bump right now. I have my go-to hair oil, and then just a clip for when I do my hair. That's Juan's side. We have diaper wipes. I mean, we have baby wipes. And then right here, I have my headband for when I wash my hair. I mean, my headband for when I wash my face. And my face towel. And then down here, I just have kind of like the basics. Um, extra soap, some lotions, um, deodorant. You know, just the basic necessity. And that is our home. I was going to do a kind of little tour of the backyard, but honestly, it's not how I want it right now. It's crowded with a bunch of stuff. I have the dog cage out there because it was dirty, so I had to wash it. And there's just a bunch of like stuff out there. So instead, in the coming weeks, I'm going to do like an actual in-depth backyard transformation plus the other half of her gate arrives monday so i'll at least have her full gate and it's not just this tiny little space that i have fenced in right now this will probably come after her birthday because i do have some outdoor toys that i know she's going to be getting for her birthday so i'll be able to put them out there and just kind of do like a whole little transformation our backyard is one of our best features because of the fact that ali absolutely loves being outside so we want it to come out like you know we kind of want to make it really nice for her so that she can actually enjoy her time out there and have stuff to play with so that's going to be in a separate video but that is our home tour 